Matthew here. So I have the Moto 360 smartwatch. This is the Gen 3. Uh, the Gen 1 came out in 2014 and then Gen 2 came out in 2015. Uh, this has the Motorola branding, however, this is not actually made by Motorola. It is made by a company that has kind of kept the name of the watch. So in that way, it's more of a legacy kind of thing. Uh, the Gen 1 and Gen 2 were decent watches, but they had that horrible flat tire design. If you don't know what that is, I will post a picture real quick right here that shows it. But anyways, this is supposed to be uh, better. It doesn't have a flat tire design and uses the latest hardware for Wear OS. So like a Snapdragon 3100, one gigabyte of RAM, all that. So we'll go ahead and do a walkthrough and unboxing of this. Okay, so like you know, this is the Gen 3 of the Moto 360 smartwatch. Uh, as you know, if you've watched my channels, I have been wearing smartwatches for a while now. I had the Fossil Gen 5 Carlisle HR right here. I also wore a lot the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. Um, in later or earlier videos, I wore the uh, Fossil Gen 4 and possibly the Gen 3. I don't remember exactly when I got the Gen 3, but I also had the uh, Galaxy Watch as well. So the watch before the pre, the new Galaxy watch. Also, I had the Gear S3 watch, and then I had a Huawei watch as well. So I have had a lot of smart watches in the past. But anyways, the first thing on the back is you see kind of a layout of what's all in the box. So you get two straps. One is a leather strap, and one is a silicone strap. Uh, when you purchase this device through the Moto 360 website, uh, they give you kind of options. You can get like a, a silver casing with uh, brown straps with a black strap and stuff like that. So uh, you can get different kind of options, color options and all that with the straps and with the casing of the watch itself. I of course got the phantom black. So, but, and then you get the watch, then you get the cradle or the charging cradle. So this doesn't use wireless charging. It actually has a watch a charging cradle and then you get just some paperwork stuff like that this also you have to use the Wear OS app by Google uh, you can get that through the Apple Store and the Google Play Store this will work with both iPhones and Android devices so anyways let's go ahead and just quickly unbox this I'm gonna take my knife here I'm gonna just gently cut the plastics and that way we have the plastic here. I don't want to mess the box up because I the box is pretty nice actually. Uh, we'll go ahead and just close that knife back up and I'll toss that. And then let's just open this up. And on the right here you see time for you. So the first thing you see right here is the watch itself or the casing. That's pretty nice casing I will say. Uh, it's decent. It's Slight, I mean, you can feel that there's some heft to it, but it's not super heavy. Um, I've had heavier watches, the Gear S3, the Galaxy Watch, stuff like that. So it's not bad. And the size of it, the casing, isn't bad as well. I believe it's a 42 millimeter case, which should be able to fit most wrists. So we'll put that to the side. Then here, you see you got this leather strap. It looks kind of cheap right now, but I think with some wear and tear, it will actually be pretty good. And then you have this silicone strap, and it's got a cool little design, kind of some ridges, so it kind of gives you, and then it feels pretty nice, I will say. Probably one of the nicer um, silicone straps I've had, because I've had some that are just too stiff. I've had some that are uh, not stiff enough, so this is a good size. And of course, both of these straps use that quick release method, so. We'll kind of put those there. And then we'll take this off. Here's your paperwork right here, just how to use the watch, stuff like that, um, warranties, all that. Again, on the back, how to use the watch itself, uh, setting it up and all that, charging, all that. So we'll put that there. And then right here is the charging cradle. So you've got this. Um, I will say if you lose this, you'll have to get another one from the Moto360 website. However, I when I ordered this watch, 
I tried to get another one just as a backup because I like to keep one near my bed and then I like to have one for travel. But for some reason, it wouldn't let me choose another cradle to buy. So it's there. It shows the picture of it in the accessories tab, but it I couldn't buy one. But you can buy uh, other straps as well. So just make a note of that that you can buy other straps. So anyways, just be aware of that. Um, if you're looking for another charging cradle, you may have to go through Amazon or something like that. But anyways, and then that's it for the box itself. Okay, so you get the watch casing, two straps, a cradle, and then the paperwork uh, when you unbox this uh, product. So we'll go ahead and take that off. So right here is the watch itself. It's pretty nice. Uh, looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and just put the silicone strap on this watch. Okay, so just FYI, um, at least I, on my watch, uh, when I tried to turn it on, it wouldn't turn on, so I had to plug it in, um, connect it to the cradle. So you may have to do that. It may not have any ba batteries, power. So we're just going to go over the quick specs uh, and details of this watch. Uh, this watch use, is a 42 millimeter watch casing, so it's good for all wrist sizes, uh, men's, women's, all that. It's not too big, not too small, stuff like that, which is good. The straps themselves, they look to be 20 millimeter straps, which is a good size. It's uh, not too big, not too small. I know my Galaxy Watch Active 2 uses a 20 millimeter uh, strap. My Fossil Gen 5 uses a 22 millimeter and my other watches that I've had uses 22 millimeter So I tried to get watches that use 22 millimeter, but sometimes you can't help it. So anyways I've got 20 millimeter watch straps with this. So hopefully that'll be fine uh, This uses a Snapdragon 3100 chipset I know that the 4100 has just been announced, or it was announced a few months ago. Uh, there's only one watch that I know of that uses the 4100 uh, chipset. This watch has been out for about a year now. I waited a little bit to get this watch because originally it came out with a price tag of $299, which for something that had issues in the past with the flat tire design and all that, it was very, $299 is a steep price. However, you can find it on sale through Moto360's website for $199 and uh, $179.99. I actually got this for $169.99. I waited because I knew that there were going to be sales and I wanted to wait and see what the best price is. And $169 for this was the best price that I had seen for this watch. Uh, so just letting you guys know that it does sometimes go down to $169.99 uh, so if you don't want to pay that $299 or $199 price sometimes it'll go it'll go further down in the sale uh, for that okay so this actually has one gigabyte of RAM which is good I know that a lot of smartwatches especially when they use Wear OS have had that laggy feel and part of that is because there is only 512 gigabytes of RAM However, this watch, and along with like the Carlisle HR and the Scoggin Foster 3 watch, they use one gigabyte of RAM versus 512 megabytes of RAM. So that gives it a little bit more power and allows it to not lag as much, which is good. Um, up here, there's two buttons here on the side. Um, two pushers, I guess, as you could say. Um, the top one has uh, the little Motorola logo kind of etched in you can't really see it but anyways it has the little Motorola etched logo etched in and it is actually rotatable so I really like that I prefer watches that have a rotating crown or a rotating bezel I know the the Galaxy Watch Active 2 doesn't have a rotating bezel or crown but it actually has a digital rotating bezel so it still rotates kind of just doesn't physically rotate so anyways but um, the pushers are good. I believe they are customizable. Okay, this watch has your fitness tracking, all that kind of stuff, your heart rate, stuff like that, GPS, navigation, all that. So that's really good for if you're wanting to work out, all that kind of stuff. This watch can also withstand one meter and 30 minutes of water. So it will be fine to go swimming with this if you want or take a shower with this. Um, but I wouldn't go out into the ocean with this. So just be aware of that. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and just set this up and then after that we'll just kind of do a quick walkthrough of the Wear OS kind of stuff. So this is the um, watch itself. I have it charged up a little bit. Um, I've got it set up. It's pretty nice. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's it's charging right here and it's, it uses quick charging so I believe they say you can charge it from zero to 100 in an hour, which is nice. I like that. I like that feature. That way, if you're in a, a rush, time crunch, you can quickly put your watch on the charger. It tops off your watch and then you can go. You don't have to wait like an hour for it to give you like 30% battery or something like that, which is nice. Setting this up was really easy. Um, on the watch, on the Wear OS app itself, you just click that down button and you do add new watch. And then from there, um, it pretty much does everything for you. You click add new watch, it'll pair with this watch and then it sets everything up. You just have to tell it where you're located and you have to grant it a little bit, some uh, permissions and then uh, you have to say what account you want to switch over to this watch. But after that, it's pretty easy. Uh, so nothing major, uh, maybe five to 10, 15 minutes max to set this watch up, which is nice. Uh, right here, you've got your watch faces that are pre-installed so there's some nice watch faces that are pre-installed uh, nothing flashy but again you can also go and get more watch faces through the app store itself on your watch which is good if you are if you have any other wear os uh, watch you should be pretty familiar with the wear os app as you can see i've got the carlisle hr right here as well so so yeah uh, that's the app itself so for size comparison, let's just quickly, I'm gonna take this off. Let's just quickly, so here is the Moto 360 Gen 3, and this watch has is a 42 millimeter case, so not nothing major, but this is the Carlisle HR. This is a 44 millimeter case. As you can see, it's slightly bigger, but also the screen is about the same size as this screen. That's because the case itself is larger the screen is kind of smaller so that's nice that they put the screen a little bit closer to the end of the case as well so but this uses a 22 millimeter watch strap here is the galaxy watch active 2 uh, and this is a 40 millimeter watch case as you can see um, and it is actually quite small compared to this one and because of the digital rotating bezel uh, The the screen itself it doesn't go as far so um, if you're used to this the screen is going to look considerably bigger than this one, but anyways um, When it comes to thickness as you can look here, this watch is actually a pretty thick watch uh, It's about a little thicker than the watch active 2 and it's considerably bigger than the Carlisle HR watch right here. However, I will let you know that the Carlisle HR feels heavier than this one, even though the Moto 360 is thicker. So just let just be aware of that, that this one, even though it's thicker, it seems a little bit lighter in my opinion. So anyways, right here, you've got two buttons, like I said, and when you when you turn on the watch for the first time, it will run through like a tutorial of all the different features, the swiping gestures and all that stuff like that. So, but let's just go real quick through this. The the top button here is a rotating crown, so as you can see, but also if you press if you press it, it will take you to your I guess your app gallery if you want to say call it that you can also let's let's do that you press it and it'll go back to that uh, this button right here is programmable uh, right now I haven't programmed a button so just to see how the watch looks on your wrist uh, I have medium ish wrists I guess not sure but anyways this is how it looks on my wrist not too not too bad on my wrist um, good size I believe and so yeah, I just want to show you guys how it looks on the wrist. It's not too bad of a watch. Overall, this is a nice looking watch. It feels really nice as well. I'm excited to use this watch for a while. Um, I actually have a police academy training uh, pretty soon and I'll be gone for several weeks for that. But 
Um, I'm hoping that maybe during that time I'll get a break and I can come back and do after wearing this and do a quick review on this watch. So just give me several weeks. Um, until then, I mean, I'm just going to be testing this watch out. So um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I post another video. Um, until then, everyone, stay safe. Peace.